How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video on this beautiful Friday day. Uh, it's now Friday afternoon. Um, hope you're all uh, having a good time, whatever you're doing. And you're probably all on a piss this weekend, barbecues and everything else. Uh, right guys, so as you can tell from the title of the video, this video is going to be on domestic abuse. Uh, it's been all over the media in the last few days, this certain case. Um, nine times out of ten, if you just ask people on the street, domestic abuse, is it men to women or women to men? Nine times out of ten, I believe, people would say it's men to women. Well, this case isn't. Um, Alex Skeel, who's spoken out as the victim in this particular case, uh, huge, huge respect for him. Um, he's, we do, as guys, we do the whole macho thing and everything. Um, and we might see it as embarrassing being a victim. Not embarrassing at all. Uh, and this man is wanting to help people speak out to, to highlight the problem and the... Uh, so that hopefully more people come forward and stuff like that, which is only to be uh, respected. Uh, right, guys, so I'm, this is from the Daily Mail Online, an interview that took place with um, Mr. Skeel. So let's jump into it. So a battered boyfriend made to suffer at the hands of his controlling girlfriend has spoken for the first time about the torment he suffered as he after she was jailed for seven and a half years. Seven and a half years, guys. <clears throat> Bravely raving his right to anonymity, Alex Skule took the mail online. He was speaking out because he wanted to campaign against domestic abuse. Mr. Skule, 22, fought back tears as, as he told the mail online, I thought my limbs might have to be amputated. I had open burns and had lost three stone in weight. I went from 10 stone down to seven. It was awful. It was three years of mental abuse and then it turned physical. Um, so... Alex Skeel uh, was in a relationship with Jordan Worth, age 22. Um, they, it, they, they got together, they ended up living together and stuff like that. Um, anyway, guys, let's get back to the story. His girlfriend, Jordan Worth, made 20, age 22, made his life a misery by inflicting a catalogue of injuries on him in violent attacks. She stabbed him with a knife, scalded him with boiling water, banned him from their bed and told him what clothes he could wear. Worth, who lived with Mr. Skeel in the village of Stewartsbury in Bedfordshire, also isolated him from his friends and took over his um, Facebook account. Mr. Skeel said, I was, inf I was infected from the burns pretty much all over my body. Luckily, they managed to treat it. The physical abuse, the physical violence happened for about nine months and for four years before it was mental abuse. <clears throat> My family said they knew about the mental abuse, but didn't know about the physical abuse. She kept me away from my family for two years. I have a very loving family and very loving parents. She wouldn't allow me to talk to them. She would hit me and throw boiling water on me and stab me in the arms and say, you've been speaking to your family, haven't you? But I hadn't. Aspiring teacher Worth had a degree from the University of Hertfordshire and had come from a loving and supportive family and had raised money for kids in Africa. But Luton Crown Court heard she cruelly controlled every aspect of Mr. Skeel's life. Prosecutor Maryam Saeed said a relationship began and later they moved in together. But from an early stage, she was exercising control over him, deciding what he could wear. But the prosecutor said the worst was yet to come. And she became violent towards Mr. Skeel, who the court heard had suffered from hydrocephalus, which is caused by a buildup of fluid inside the skull, which made him vulnerable. She used blunt objects to strike him, stabbed him with knives and didn't get the help, didn't help him to get to hospital for treatment. For nine months, he couldn't sleep in the same bed as her, the court was told. <clears throat> Worth pleaded guilty con to controlling and coercive behaviour in an intimate relationship, wounding with intent and causing grievous bodily harm with intent between April 2016 to June 2017. Neighbours of the couple often heard them arguing, said Miss Saeed. Miss Saeed was the... Uh, prosecutor uh, the sound of things being thrown in the house she said the victims was heard by his neighbor shouting at worth get off me you're hurting me he was seen on occasions with black eyes and limping with his arms in a sling now he wasn't going to hospital so he was wrapping uh, cling film around his wounds and stuff which can get they can get infected and get sepsis and stuff like that you can bloody kill you man self like treatment and stuff like that he should have been going to hospital but if he went to hospital obviously um worth jordan worth who was his girlfriend um 
the whistle would have been like it would have this cat would have got out of the hat so she didn't let him go to a hospital and stuff which is crazy um the, the, it's obviously it started verbal and the violence got worse and worse and worse um I, she would have killed him it's as simple as that that's the way it comes across anyway um once once worth was seen at a window by a neighbor armed with a screwdriver the court was told a screwdriver or hammer the court was told now i'm taking it she wasn't doing diy this this was a cold calculated control freak right another nerve neighbor heard him shouting get off get off my head don't keep doing that to my head remember he had this uh, condition where he got a fluid build up on inside his head inside his skull um, and she was obviously going at his head could have killed him um she saw burn marks on his arms which he explained another neighbor heard him shouting get off get off don't keep doing that to my head she saw burn marks on his arms which he explained away as self-inflicted Mr. Skeel added, my family never thought it would be physical, but it just got worse and worse. It started off with with little, with her just hitting me and punching me. And then it got to a, where she had a bottle in her hand. And every time I removed the weapon, she would go on to the next one. Uh, it led to being hit with hammers, being stabbed with knives, having boiling water thrown at me. <clears throat> Mr. Skeel said he wants to set up a refuge for battered men. He attends a group for domestic uh, violence victims and would like to help others. He said he was told by the police that there had been a spike in the number of male victims in recent years. The court heard it was in June of last year that neighbours called police to the couple's home in the, in, the, in the village in the early hours after hearing shouting. The ambulance crew noted injuries to his hands, burns to his arms and legs, which were self-treated with cling film. There was clean film around his ankles and a hand wound that was bleeding. He was taken to Bedfordshire Hospi uh, uh, Hospital's acute clinical unit and then had to go to Addensbrook Hospital. So he ended up having to go to two hospitals because they couldn't treat him, so they sent him to this other hospital for his burns. Uh, asked by the mail online if he could have got away, he said, you can't. When I was in hospital, after she stabbed my wrist and tendons in my hand, she walked out of the building because they were going to operate on me. The senior consultant wiped tears away from my eyes with his thumb and said, are you sure you're going to be safe to go home? He knew what was going on and flagged it to the police, but they have to go on what I say. And at the time, I was scared of the consequences of going against the person that abused me. On June the 6th, he was examined at the Lister Hospital in Stevenage and found to have burns on his legs as well, as, as well as stab wounds on his body and limbs. Days later, Jordan Worth was arrested. The, the court heard the couple are no longer together and Worth is in a new relationship with James Clark. So she's moved on from him. She destroyed his life and then she's moved on. Obviously, she got arrested. So then she's moved on to this other guy called James Clark, who was from Norfolk. And they've been living together at an address in Inglesthorpe in Norfolk. So she, 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 she's destroyed one guy's life. And now she's on to this other guy's life and he's got a profile picture on his Facebook, this James Clark, of him and the, he's kissing the cheek of her or something like that on the, on the profile picture. Um, you need to run the other way, dude. Um, she'll destroy your life. She, she's obviously mental. She's a psychopath. She's narcissistic. She's controlling. Um, and after all this has come out in the media and stuff, run the other way. She was jailed for seven and a half years. Worth was also made the subject to restraining order and which prevents her from contacting Mr. Skeel indefinitely. Um, it looks like they've got a kid together as well. There's a picture of them both together with a baby with a blurred out face. So I'm assuming they've got a kid together as well. Um, she shouldn't have any right or access to that kid once she's released. Um, he should have um, full parental responsibility for the child. She's obviously a danger um, to anyone see the thing is if you look at her she's a she's a she's a, she's a good looking girl she's educated she's tiny but she's an absolute psychopath controlling what he was wearing and like i say it's it got gradually worse and stuff um i've seen a headline which would purports to that he apparently he was days away from death if he hadn't got help um when he did um when this when the police by he got passed on to the police and the police then arrested her and stuff after he went to the hospital um, she would have killed him. He would have died. Um, it, it, it was infected and stuff like that. It could have lost his limbs and stuff, right? Which is absolutely crazy, guys. No one should suffer in silence and stuff. Um, it's very easy to say to someone, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. These people, they get inside your mind, they isolate you from your friends, they isolate you from your family, uh, they put you down, they call your names, they, 
They give you, like, it's literally, it's mental, physical, and like I say, and it goes on. She doesn't look like the type, but what does a domestic abuse, uh, someone that carries out domestic abuse, what do they look like? They don't, you, you can't tell, can you? Um, the, the shocking, shocking case. And like I say, um, I spent an hour or two uh, just writing everything down I, from the case and stuff. Um, she's an absolute freak. What an absolute freak. Um, raising money for children in Africa, comes from a good family home, so she's not been abused. She's not been mentally or physically abused or anything like that. Um, she's, uh, uh, by all accounts, she's come from a loving, supportive family. Um, I'd be interested to see if they stand by her uh, while she's in prison. Um, let me know what you guys think about the case. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can read it at your own leisure and stuff. Uh, let me know what you think about the case. Does it shock you? Have you ever been in a domestic abuse relationship? Um, what are the signs? How, how would you deal with it yourself if you was in that situation? Let me know, guys. Going to leave this video here, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.